Good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I'm kind of down here a little earlier in the greenhouse. I woke up to rain last night. Didn't sleep really good. I've had a little injury again, y'all. I've just, it's been one thing after another in the last two, three weeks. I fell down the hill down here on the pavement walking, trying to exercise, trying to do something good for my body and then cause something much worse. So I'm a little sore. I haven't been on here in a few days and I'm not gonna get it. I, let's just talk about something else. Yeah, I'm coming to check my plants. We, um, it looks like the sun's peeking out a little bit. So hopefully it's gonna warm up a little bit down here. I think the high today is 60. I didn't have to have my stove last night. It actually wasn't too cold, but it is a little chilly in here because either the sun's out or the stove's on and neither one is. So, eh, I don't know. We'll see what today brings. But everything is still looking good. Let me show you guys my, some of my plants. And here's my petunias, which, I mean, they are looking really good. They're growing so good. I'm keeping them really watered, especially in these small trays right here because they will dry out really quickly. And then here are my maters. Still looking good. I'll water them in a few minutes. Here's some more of my petunias. And then some marigolds. And I think I'm gonna replant my impatience because I just don't think they came up good. I don't know if it was just the timing and I didn't have them on the heat mats when I put them in and maybe I overwatered them. I don't know. We're gonna try again. Welcome back to this old greenhouse. It is the weekend and it's a chillier weekend. We had a cold front go through last night after we had been warm so it feels chillier today actually i just looked at the thermometer and it says 52 so it's not that cold but the wind is cold i've been out a little bit i mentioned to you guys earlier about my fall my tumble i took down the hill and i'm actually this is the first day that i'm feeling better i can move a little better without pain so that's that's good i have an idea i want to share with you guys so this kind of come to me well, in the last couple weeks, I've been thinking about it, but then I just kind of said it out loud. Me and my mom talked over it, and I'm contemplating making a big change to my flower garden. And I'll just tell you guys in here because it's really windy, and if I go out there, you probably won't be able to hear me. But for those of you who are new to my channel or those that have just been with me for a while, y'all know I have a flower garden out here outside of my greenhouse. I've got six raised beds. Well, originally, this area was more the idea of putting vegetables in here. But because I have a very large garden down the hill right beside my chicken coop, I really don't have to raise vegetables up here. And this has become my pollinator flower garden. And the last two years I've grown all kinds of flowers. Y'all can watch my previous videos and they're, they're beautiful. And they also provide a lot of bees, which in turn helps my garden and the bee population, which all that is just wonderful. Because this is predominantly a flower garden, I was thinking of going for a different look, maybe like a cottage garden kind of look where I would have a pathway coming in from my entrance gate right there and then kind of sweeping through and then going underneath this trellis here, which is going to be a rose arbor. And then I would just have sections of flowers growing, like my wildflowers here, zinnias, and different things. Stuff up against the fence, and then as my trail is winding through here, I may have like a bird bath area, a bench, and things of that nature. Now I may try to walk out here so you guys can visualize it a little better, but hopefully the wind won't be too bad. This is probably something I should have done in the fall <laughs> and let it sit over winter with like plastic over the areas that I want to do and kind of die back the weeds so anyways late start first year maybe just kind of going slow and getting things set up and then next year will be probably a little bit more productive as far as all my flowers but I will obviously try to get some in here but my husband would have to come in with the tiller and till up the areas I'm going to probably put some type of weed barrier down probably what I'm going to put in the garden and then just poke holes in it put my flowers down into it and then maybe mulch some areas I don't know I've got some ideas and then when I put my roses in here I'll probably have to put something at the base of those but as far as a pathway I may do like stepping stone type thing what do you guys think do you like the raised beds for the flower garden look or do you think it would be better maybe this other way that I'm dreaming up in my head I've been on Pinterest I've looked up a lot of 
cottagey flower garden things and they are some really spectacular stuff probably a lot of work I'd have to put into it but I don't know put in the comment what you guys think I'm really getting close to maybe taking these things down and once I do my mind's made up but I also don't want to have something that's going to be tons and tons of upkeep every single year as far as weeds my raised beds are really good about not getting weeds and if they do they just pull right up it would definitely be a totally different look and I think it would be really pretty but I have to make my decision pretty quickly if I'm wanting to get a lot of my flowers going so I can't wait too much longer all right guys Joe is down at the shop and he is I think they're finishing up on the entertainment center. He's been so busy. Every waking hour almost that he is not at work, he is down at the shop. So he is about finished and I'm sure he's probably glad. I think he's gonna take a little bit of a break for just a little while. And maybe we've got some projects um, down the park inside the house to do of our own. I haven't been down there in a few days to see what's going on. I think that he's staining and I would love to see it. So I'm gonna take you guys down there and we'll go look at it together. Hey everybody, welcome back to this old greenhouse woodworking edition. We have uh, got to the point now to where we are putting the polyurethane on it, as you can tell. And we've got one coat on, we just got the top coat sanded. And we're fixing to put coat number two on. We're gonna do three coats all together. This turned out pretty good. It's not too bad. You see saw marks in this wood. It's pretty nice looking. But uh, got a little issue over here on this. I've got to repair real fast. What's happened is there was a little splinter right there. When I was running my sander over it, it caught and pulled that off just a little bit. So I'm gonna have to take some of my Magic glue, super glue. Little woodworking tip for you here. Starbond. That's the best stuff <laughs> in the world you can have when you're doing woodworking. And not sponsored, but would love to be. It is amazing what all you can actually do with this stuff. Well, it looks good. I like the color. Yes, so the color is called Early American. And that's what she chose for the uh, coffee table we did. I'm sure some of y'all may remember that. And it turned out really, really, really nice. I think this is gonna look pretty good too. Just like that, problem fixed. So I got a thing and I say that if it's made out of wood, I can do it. <laughs> and just like that, problem resolved. For those of my friends that are working, that's 10-8, I'm back in service. Okay. Or, if you even want to go old school, I could say I'm 1098. That was a dispatch call, that's how you clear off a dispatch call. Rombo, I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but this was self-initiated. So this is 10-8, back in service. 